welcome to my channel, I'm Lee Rebecca and this series is sponsored by Medify. Today's video is going to be about decision making and my top tips and advice I'd wish I'd known before sitting the UCAT. So for me, I definitely found decision making the most fun, the most interesting because it's more like logical puzzles, more interesting. I really like the Venn diagrams, the Euler diagrams. And yeah, I think it's the one that's a more new section, but I think other people also enjoy it. So definitely take this as a section that you can score high in and increase your average. So with decision making, you have a whole one minute per question, which is so much better than all the other sections. And I think this is great because in in decision making there are so many different types of questions. So perhaps a syllogism which is worth two marks instead of one, um, you can spend more of your time on that instead of a evaluating the argument question, which is quite simple to do compared to a syllogism. So I really do like decision making with the different types of questions there's also the factor of perhaps running out of time if you spend too long on all the syllogisms and not having enough time by the end for all the Venn diagrams. So on Medify you can select the different sections that you want to do. So say I wanted to do a stem on Venn diagrams, I'll just start that. And you can also put it in F11 where it makes it full screen which is really good because it looks exactly how the UCAT looks, there's all the shapes and then which is not available as a smoothie. So for myself I usually start from the bottom, the bottom one is available, banana, square and kiwi is not available because they're not overlapping in any way so banana and kiwi are not overlapping so that's the answer and if I want to flag I can flag, if I needed the calculator here is the calculator and in the real exam it's like a huge calculator, it looks like this. But yeah, then you just go and mark it and you will get it right and you'll see your time and you can compare it and read the feedback from it. So you see the average time that people spend doing it and all of the feedback that you can use to make sure that if you did get it wrong that you would know why and how and that you didn't do it wrong again. So that is how Medify is really helpful because it gives you specific things to read that are really helpful. So I would say try to stick to one minute and don't be afraid to flag a question to come back to it at the end. So my tips for syllogisms, which are the ones where, you know, it's all kind of nonsense and then you have to answer yes and no. Um, one thing that kind of helped me is to realize that the default answer is no. Not yet. So you kind of do need evidence for it, the answer to be yes. Uh, when you're looking at graphs and tables and diagrams, make sure you read all of the scales, the measurements, all the context that is needed. Like perhaps a number is in millions, perhaps a number is in decimeters squared. And it's just really helpful to make sure that when you're reading the graph compared to what's in the question that you know what you're doing. So this video is sponsored by Medify who are hosting live classes and personalised strategy towards you. A two day online crash course which will really just throw you in the deep end and really help you pick up your score. So if you're interested check out the link in my description to get on that. So on the whiteboard in decision making I do like to do diagrams. So considering it's not as time pressured you can actually use letters to write out your logic puzzles so say a question was about sarah sydney and chris sydney would be y sarah would be h and chris would be c and that's how you can make sure that you don't mess up because they do like giving people the same name so you can't just be like s and s because it's like which one is sarah which one is sydney we don't know with that, you can draw little lines um, and flow charts to follow the line of argument in the syllogisms and in the logical puzzles. I find it more helpful to spend more time on your diagram than it is to keep on rereading the question and just getting yourself more and more confused. Tips for the actual exam. Uh, in the exam also I found that there's more long length questions and really long syllogisms. Some frogs are bins, some bins are frogs. It's like you know really really long ones so it's kind of harder to write a diagram for that again i'd say with your diagram that you're drawing specific in what you're writing and that you're answering the question 
another type of question that I like are the you know logical puzzles where it's like perhaps a table or a zoo like spatial question I think this is quite good for it to be like a topic in the UCAT because in medicine you know you have to have kind of like spatial awareness and think you know if x is y and like you know the body is like all 3d so it's good to kind of think in 3d say there's like a table of six people draw a really quick like lines to make six places out make your time with the um, if two seats are already established make sure that the others couldn't go on the other side instead of just the one that closest with like siblings and groups of people colors of shirts colors of trousers decision making it's really about just focusing and making sure that you're paying attention you know you can really score highly if you do well and just put in that extra effort. so for arguments um you would think that this is like a really easy section but sometimes the questions that they give you know you can't really just answer it in your what you would think you kind of have to read the responses to the question uh, so when doing the strength of arguments and evaluating arguments kind of read all of the answers for each answer which is following the actual question generally i find the longest answer is usually the strongest but more importantly it's the one that's most specific to the question and it's not biased or you know only focusing on one part of the question it's really important that it answers all points so when you're on my defy practicing make sure that you give different amounts of time to different types of the section one thing medify have done that's really good is they have separated each thing into different section yeah on medify you can specifically go for a different type of question and whenever you're doing questions practicing i definitely recommend to do them timed um just so you're always under pressure because in the real exam you will be under pressure for example say you'll do like 10 minutes of only probability questions 10 minutes of only syllogisms and just so that you can really make sure that your weak areas are being made strong also when evaluating arguments look for strong words like most all many all of that show more strength in the conviction of the argument so for the fun diagram questions it's always good to use your maths and work out from the middle to the outside um just to make sure that you're correctly minusing all of them when you're in a rush make sure that at least it adds up to the total of all the people in the study or whatever it is and when you're doing an ULA diagram which is the same as a venn diagram but just a circle within a circle you really do pay attention to the sentences and like the orders that they go in all pianos are instruments but all drums are percussions or whatever for like the algebra questions which is like you know a shape a circle equals a triangle equals a square um it's good to kind of assign numbers to them so say there's like three circles that equal a square right like square equals 3c and then that will just kind of help you to actually make sense of all of those numbers and scent and shape so that has been my advice for decision making so if you're interested check out the link in my description to get on that I hope it's been helpful and some tips that have not really been mentioned as much. Uh, just some top tips I'd wish I'd known and I hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!